It's all good now. Cool. All right, we're going to listen to Donda over on stream on Twitch. If you want to come over to the Twitch page, twitch.com slash the needle drop. Come on over. Come on over. Come on over. We're going to listen to the Kanye. All right. Um, so uh, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's ready and excited for what is about to happen. The day is finally here. The day has finally arrived. The new Kanye West record, Donda, has come out. All 27 tracks of it. All 27 freaking tracks of it. All one hours and 48 minutes of it. All right. Um, uh, Dunky already leaked. Yeah, Dunky, Dunky had a great stream. Had a great stream. Uh, I, I guess that's one more thing that I could say before we uh, really get started is I'm amazed <laughs> that Dunky's stream made it onto Kanye's radar and he... He he got the gub 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 on the freaking record. Like wow, that's that's a momentous time for for internet memes and trolls and culture. Uh, I I think that's a a high point. It's an important moment. So uh, we're just going to be listening to this. No tracks. No anything like that. And we're going to listen to the entire record all the way through. No skips. No skips. No skips. We're going to listen to it. We're going to react. I know a lot of you guys have already listened to the record. Uh, and maybe you have favorites, maybe you don't, but uh, I'm not going to be skipping around the record. We're going to listen to it all the way through. As we're listening, I'm probably going to try to get up like a, a track list with all the features just so I'm like aware of what's going on as we're, as we're hearing it. So with all of that being said, uh, let's open with the first track. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the subs. Okay, so I, th I think I've teased the fuck out of this as much as I can. Uh, let's just uh, get into it. Donda chat. Ah, sorry. Donda chant. Ba bam. Yeah. Donda. Donda, 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 Donda. Take what you want. Hassan raid, holy shit. God, in my cells, that's my celly. Hold up, Donda, I'm with your baby. Return of the throne. She already know what I think, but I think pieces. <laughs> Reset. This is what Braille look like. It's on site. Still, it's a hell of a life. Guess who's going to jail tonight? Okay, um, Marilyn Manson is is uh, credited on that track too. Did I miss his? D does he just get like a writing credit, or was he actually like? Did he actually have like you know performance input on on that track? Part two, jail part two. Okay, got it. That's part two. Yeah, and part two is off the record. Got it. Um, as far as like my thoughts on that track overall, I think it's a good kickoff. It's anthemic. It's epic. Uh, there are elements of the beat, especially on that switch toward the end. Thank you very much for that. Uh, uh, you gifted a sub to Kanye. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> especially on the beat switch toward the end where things felt like a little dry, you know, like not quite as like fine tuned, I think, like as uh, they could have been instrumentally. Um, not as fine tuned as you expect a track to be that has uh, Kanye West, 88 Keys, Mike Dean, and uh, four others on it as well. But uh, I do like that kind of rocking, anthemic, slow, you know, almost like arena-sized kind of vibe of the whole thing. And I, I like Jay-Z's verse as well. I liked uh, Jay-Z's verse as well. I thought it was really cool to, uh, you know, hear him on there and um, have that clever wordplay about the cell phone and the selfie and jails and cells and so on and so forth. There's some good wordplay there, and I loved his references to having worked at, uh, with Kanye in the past, you know, Watch the Throne, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm generally glad that both of them have uh, smoothed things over because that's a, I feel like that's a friendship that hip hop needs, at least maintained in, you know, even, even if it's just in a ceremonious way. Okay, so uh, uh, Jail Part 2 we'll be hearing later. I don't know if like the sequencing on SoundCloud is not SoundCloud, but Spotify is weird or anything. I'm guessing not. Uh, but uh, God Breathed is the following track. Uh, let's give a spin to that one. Ba-bam. 
and at, uh, and before we go on, I, I will say like off that track, I was getting a little bit of like T Lop, and also like kids, uh, see ghost vibes, just a, a tad off uh, off of that track. This already feels like something off Jesus. Band off rip, gonna say something. Breed on this. Oh, oh. On this. Breed on this. Breed. Before the sons and the daughters, we got the father like Maury. <laughs> I have to I have to listen to that God the Father like Maury <laughs> line again. More than I can say for you. He's done this flow before too, hasn't he? But the truth still for you. Bamanamanana. Dana na 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 na. I'm pretty sure that's off of fucking Jesus. I'm pretty sure that's a Jesus flow. Once I saw what the Lord do, like Maury. Yeah, hold my liquor, right? I know God is all in us. Devil on my shoulders are an angel watching over me. Okay, now they gotta show me, talking to me. My angel start. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't say, don't say muted. Don't say muted. Jesus Christ. Um, and obviously, thank you, Hassan. Appreciate it. It's okay. No God breathe on me. I'm digging it up to this point, but I'm like, I'm wondering, like, what are we going to do past this? What's going on past this point? Where's it going to go from here? That's really the track. This is like, I mean, not that the track was awful, but like, we're, we're really playing it out like this. That, that was something. It's like I'm listening to a combination of Skyrim and the instrumental to Coolio's Gangsta's Paradise. I mean, you know, it's pretty sick. I think that outro could have been condensed, obviously. And topically and aesthetically, to me, that felt like very much a combination of Jesus is King and Jesus, like, all together. Uh, and in a way, it felt like, you know, Jesus Part 2, Christian Boogaloo. Uh, it wasn't bad wasn't bad. I didn't find it as exciting as Jail, but it was okay. I'm just wondering how, you know, given the first three tracks, how all over the place is this record going to be? And there's 27 songs. So it's probably going to be a lot of wild variation, just like there was on The Life of Pablo, probably even more so. Uh, I'm, I'm just getting very erratic Life of Pablo vibes <laughs> off of this record so far. And we're only three tracks in. All right, Off the Grid is the next one. Off the Grid. Yeah. Is that Cardi? Is it Cardi? Five EOs on this one too. When I was in jail, I was low key. He look at me and see a god figure. My mind smarter, my crown harder. When I was diamonds and houses and sea notes, y'all only witnessed it. Look, shit, you switched up. And then you gotta move different when you in the end. She fell alone my day to day. You be shocked when you got an electro hard, not to move reckless. We all pissed it. Tickets chip, chip, First it go viral, then it get digital. Mask on my face, you can't see when I've been it. Ain't been to talk to you, ain't been to get with you. They try to drag me, I rise in my pen. Remember, get what I want, and I say what I want. I just bought a flow out of self and driven and heavenly messages. That's for the hell of it. I talk to God every day, that's my bestie. They playing soccer, I think I see Messi, and his money could never. <laughs> what the fuck? That was like such a con. That was such a Kanye series of bars. That was such a Kanye series of bars. Things get messy, soccer in the backyard, I see messy, God's my bestie, like Jesus Christ. That's, that's, that's such a Kanye succession. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, excuse me. We both got a bad my back is more heavy. All you can pull up and check me. Nah, nah, you might do something wild if I feel like you press me. Give, 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 man, God forbid, bid, bid, rip, 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 rip. What? Uh, okay. Well, I mean, that was a banger. That was a good one. There were some weird bars here and there, but like, I I loved how Kanye sort of put his own little spin on the drill thing. I thought Cardi's feature was hard. Uh, Five Yo went at length. Like Five Yo ran a fucking marathon on this track. Like I didn't think he his verse would be what like two point five times longer than Cardi's was, and it wasn't bad either. Uh, Kanye is obviously, 
he's he's editing the swears and Kanye said no cussing. Kanye says no cussing. I'm surprised, but also, um, you know, I, I guess appreciative of the fact that he, he sort of stuck with that message and with that vibe and idea post uh, Jesus is King. Um, he, he doesn't want any uh, naughtiness on, on the record. You know, no naughtiness on the record. Uh, as someone said in chat, no swears on Sunday. It's a Christian server. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's keep it moving. No, uh, let's keep it moving. Hurricane is the next one. Hurricane. Hey, thank you for the two subs. Mm, shout out to the glub 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 glub, who we'll be hearing from later. <laughs> Hurricane is the next one. I'm seeing uh, Abel's on this one. Nice Abel's on here, and baby, little baby, not the baby, the little baby. Okay, cool, cool. Let's give it a spin and see what's up. See this in all lights out for me. Warm it up for me. And I want you out there. Don't let me tell me her this month. I done lost three friends. And you're hungry from the West End. Remember when I just had three bands? It was on the defense and hard, but I blocked off the S. Yeah. I know you are. I know you are. I was up for sale, the devil made a hell, I go down, 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 here I go with a new chick, genius gone clueless, it's but the truth was that the truth sucks, everybody hurts, but I don't judge Reynolds, the dawn is bright for both me. finally, oh. I want to hear the back end of that Kanye verse again, I was moving, it's a whole lot to risk, ask him what do you love, everybody hurts, but I don't judge Reynolds. It was all so simple. Hurts Reynolds? Oh, Jesus Christ. For me. Oh, my Jesus Christ. That she wrote. All right. So the Hurts thing is kind of a cringe bar. I guess like overall with this track, I'm liking everything that's on top of it. I'm liking everything that's on top of this track. Um, loving the, you know, the baby verse. I think, um, you know, Abel's input is great. I love the way that that ties in with the gospel style vocals at a few points. I think Kanye's flows and especially the way that he sort of like starts the whole verse of it mm -mm 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 -mm, is, you know, great adds character. The one thing I'm not crazy about on this track is it's, it's gotta be the drums. I feel like uh, rhythmically, there's gotta be something a little bit more there. You know, I mean, Kanye has put out like pretty minimal tracks before when it comes to, you know, drums. But uh, I feel like they run a little like, you know, flat, a little too dry on this one. Not like really crazy about the rhythms on this one, especially even the way some of those 808s are hitting. I don't know. You know, I'm just getting like a bit of a T-Lop vibe once again, where I'm liking the ideas, but it's it's still coming off like maybe a tad bit rough. And I'm anticipating maybe things will get tweaked into the future. I, I really have no idea at this point. But uh, praise God is the next one. Let's give this one a spin. Speech. The harmony ushers. Be night. Six of like Mike. Into the night. Still up on top. My God at the top. I walk it out the grave. Y'all are the advice been tipped in. Tell me take two when I'm on one. Be night. This is like a 6.45 AR. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. All right. So, sorry. 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 I, th I thought there was going to be more. I thought there was going to I was sort of lost in the vibe. I thought there was going to be more. <sighs> that track I'm a little split on. I, I don't think Keem adds a lot to it, honestly. And, and, and what he did add to it, I felt like he took his sweet ass time adding it. I feel like he wasted a good, I don't know. It seemed like in the moment, it seemed like he was wasting a, a good 30 seconds, like, you know, just bullshitting 
before we actually got to the point where it sounded kind of decent. And then he kind of launched off into that like very high pitched 645 AR kind of, you know, inflection, which was okay. It was kind of fun, but uh, I, I think it was an odd way to end the track personally. I mean, I'm going to listen to it more. Maybe that one will grow on me. I do like the instrumental a lot. Um, I like the, you know, huge atmospheric roomy organ keys everywhere. And it does kind of have that psych trap undertone to it that Travis Scott, of course, fits into snugly. Um, Kanye sounded good on the track all around, but, you know, from Keem on, I was just really shaky about everything that was happening. Jonah's the next one. Let's give it a spin. Boop, boop. I hope you're here when I need it all on my own. Being gone and it's not fair Hard to keep my focus on what matters. Blah. You can rest and show it's not us. Trying to finish this all I started with. Just certain you can't forget. Is is this Dirk right now? This has got to be Dirk, right? Just a double check. Vori? Okay. All right. Thank you. I mean, I do like it. I think it's a good kickoff to the track. I mean, I'm noticing the beep, beep, beep like you guys are. Um, I'm not uh, too crazy about that, but uh, I actually do like the vocals a lot. Kanye and Jay Steel brothers, they both to see his son kill. And on give point, I draw my own low so they could find us. Smoke an op pack. And it coming right back. Back to work, it's a Monday like that. Me and your big homie go back. I heard a... Um, I saw someone in a chat say that the... um, What verse are you talking about? The Kanye verse? Or the uh, the Dirk verse? My brother when we was meeting there. And don't give... No, I heard the shit. Holy Father, please let me step in. And I heard the Kanye verse uh, at least, uh, you know, three-fourths of it. Buddy like that. I mean, Suar texted me, but... It get bloody like that. Honestly, after listening to to more of it, the beep doesn't even really bother me. And... Right back. Let's change the beginning of every word. we only no cap. <laughs> That's a funny bar. Honestly, I saw someone in chat saying this is like the worst track on the record before we uh we started it. I I, I don't agree. I, I liked this track a lot. This actually was kind of like an instant like on first listen. I don't really have uh too many reservations on this track. You know, I, I like the uh. You know the melodic flows i think there's you know like a real earnestness in everyone's voice on this one um uh and i just loved the uh uh, uh the, those those keys what, what the fuck is it? it's they're like kind of like midied ghostly tones just kind of like layered over each other yeah like breathy vocal samples or some shit it's really beautiful and hypnotic Cause my guys and, and I love that chorus vocal too Like that's a really good vocal I like that a lot I think this is a solid track You know, yeah The beep, the beeping's a little incessant But um, I, I don't mind it at all I think this is a really good one But no, I like that track I like that one quite a bit Alright, next one is uh, OK OK That's the next one That was just Jonah that we played uh, Next we're going to be getting into OK OK uh, let's spin this one and see what's up. Uh, so far I'm, let me see, you know, uh, I, I think that track and the, and, you know, jail are the songs that, uh, I liked the quickest Yeah, and, 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 uh, off the grid. Yeah. I think off the grid too. Those three are my favorites so far. All right. Let's, uh, keep it going. Whoop. Hold on. I'm just making a note over here. Just making, I'm writing some review notes. As we're going along. All right. Sorry. Just writing, just writing some review notes. Doing double duty here. Because I'm, I'm not just listening to this for fun. All right. Okay. Okay. Is the next track. Uh, let's give it a spin. Oh, let, me, let, me, let me make sure right here. Uh, oh, Yachty's on this shit? Cool. That's hot. That's great. I'm looking at the Wikipedia page. How are there reviews out for this already? <laughs> Daily Telegraph and Enemy already gave it three, three stars out of five. How's how the reviews already out? iNews. I, when I need reviews, I go to iNews. That's where I'm going for uh, for reviews. Um, <laughs> let's uh, let's give this one a spin. Is Ka is Kanye editing out his own swears? Even Kanye's like, I can't even be swearing on my own shit. 
you could just not swear, man. It's it's your record, dude. You know what's gonna happen with it. I, I don't know. And I look like a ghost. You want to go? Bah. You got no real identity. Can't you live okay? I'm not okay. Good. Get out the way. So I must pay you. Runs than Babe Ruth. Had it in cause I'm not a Zeus. I pay the juice. If they like I ain't win yet. Okay, okay. Not okay. And plenty time you close the door on me. I done had too many to just to show them what it was. Most of these things ain't real. They don't want to see me win. When we cut the cake. I'm kind of split on this one too. I think the I think the beat mix is crappy on this one. Honestly, I I think the beat mix is kind of unflattering on this one. Um, and I feel like there's not really enough variation across it. Uh, there's not really like a super strong chorus on, in my opinion, either. I like the you know sort of like bitter vibe of the whole thing, and I like some of the Kanye's uh, you know bars on the kickoff. And I, I didn't mind Yachty either, but I think the song sort of started stronger than it finished. All right, let's keep it moving. Track nine. Junior Watson. Junior. Be on my, re, re. Tell him this. Be on my, mm, mm, new killers. Mm, 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 on my mama. Mm, mm, did he miss? Four five gunners. Mm, mm, junior Watson. I be on my. On my re, four five slums. We took off. Bro. I got status. Mm, mm, we going down to. Mm, 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 mm. Let me be honest. Mm, mm. I want with the bucks, boy. Let me be honest. Mm, mm. I want with the bucks, boy. Move out of the way of my release. Good night. Go to sleep. <sighs> okay. I mean, all right ending. I like some of Kanye's bars on that one. I, I guess overall that track to me felt like he was, you know, doing that grimy, repetitive, somewhat minimal, Cardi-inspired trap style, but doing a bit of a gospel flip to it, you know, with the organs and the chords, which I, I appreciate, I guess, that idea in the abstract but did it result in the most hype and entertaining track here not really you know i feel like the momentum on the track wasn't really there i think it felt pretty one note as far as like doing as far as featuring cardi and, and I, didn't, I didn't mind the cardi feature you know i'm just sort of like thinking about the overall vision of the record i feel like in terms of like incorporating cardi or incorporating like a cardi type vibe he kind of already got away with that on off the grid and it sounded good, you know, and, and, you know, being, you know, and Kanye is not old as dirt, but, you know, being an older artist, I feel like there's only so much that you can, you know, do to flirt with that kind of stuff before it starts sounding awkward. And again, I feel like he was kind of forcing it there. It sounded better and more artful and, in, you know, sort of more Kanye on off the grid. Whereas this just kind of felt like Kanye featuring on a Cardi song, in my opinion. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't crazy about this one. It was just all right. I, I think this is something that if you were more carefully editing yourself, you know, would be kind of a leftover. You know, we've kind of done this sound. Cardi's on the record already. Th one track with him on it is clearly superior to the other. Let's like, you know, this one's more cutting room floor. And we still have over an hour of fucking material on the record, you know. So uh, just saying. All right, uh, 24 is the next, no, sorry. Believe uh, what I say is the next one. Let's go. Yeah. My men and my <gasps> Lauren, this one's got Lauren on it. Yeah. I was I was hearing that there's a Lauren sample. This one's got the Lauren. Oh. You need something yeah. unexpected. You ask. <laughs> and he's got a dance beat on it too. <laughs> don't let, don't let them you found. Nice. Nice. I like that track a lot. That was a good one. And uh, the way he flipped the Lauren Hill sample uh, with, uh, <laughs> I don't know exactly like who was fully behind it because uh, Kanye, Dem Joints, FMZ, there's was a few different people on the uh, production side of this one. But, uh, you know, either way, um, beat came together nicely. Uh, some people were saying the outro was a little long. I don't entirely agree i thought the outro was fine and i think it added to the narrative of the song overall 
you know, I liked it. The only, you know, note or, oh, hold on a second. Let me write down a note. Oren Hill sample. You know, the only real note I have outside of it is that like 10 tracks in, this record is very erratic. This is a very erratic fucking record. Yeah, and, and again, like T-Lop was a really erratic album too, but uh, I don't know. I, I'm feeling like this is going to be even more so the case for this record. We're, again, 10 tracks in, I feel like we've already went through a T-Lop and we're not even at the halfway point of this LP. We, <laughs> we still have like well over a dozen, we still have over 20 tracks to go. So, well, no, not over 20. We still have well over a dozen tracks to go. Um, so, you know, I, I feel like we've already gone through a T-Lop at this point. Uh, 24 is the next one. Let's give it a spin. I wonder what a uh, Kanye does to get like, you know, the um those gospel vocals like sounding so dusty and ghostly and everything. It's it's kind of a pretty specific way he must be kind of treating that that recording to uh get it to sound that way. Either way, um, I like that track a lot. That's another, uh, I think, instant fave, honestly. Um, and obviously, you know, I remember uh, that one from the original, like, Donda listening party and everything. It, it sounds even, uh, I mean, at least for me, that was one of the standout moments for me from that. Um, and it uh, uh, sounds even better on the record. I think it sounds even better on the, uh, on the LP. Feeling relatively positive about the record so far? Remote Control is the next song on the LP, which um, I'm told is the track with the gob, 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 gob on it, <laughs> which again, I have to take a moment here and I have to give a shout out to the God, the God of video game criticism. And that is a video game donkey who, if you're unfamiliar with the guy, uh, he did a bit of a, you know, funny little troll stream the night that uh, Kanye West record here was supposed to drop. And he claimed to have a copy of the record and was going to do a live stream of the record. And he, you know, just basically streamed the album with a bunch of fake songs. And uh, in the midst of the stream, he dropped this, you know, glub, glub, glub track, this glub, glub, glub fucking shit. And, uh, yeah, and, and he was reacting to it saying, oh, it's fire, fire. It's great. It's fire. It's amazing. So, <laughs> and that was weeks and weeks and weeks ago. So lo and behold, we reach the third Donda listening party and that sample ends up on the fucking record. That sound ends up on the record. So it goes from like weird fucking YouTube meme to Kanye West album. I'm gonna put every rapper out of business. What are we, what are we thinking on this album so far? I'm seeing a lot of Doritos, a lot of little uh, reptile mans. Seven out of 10, okay. Fantano in chat. Track four. Golden Money featuring Pitbull. Maybe this will be like Gold Digger. Oh! 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 This is the best album ever recorded. Cancel every other album. That's the only option at this point. You have to cancel every other album coming out now. People won't buy them anymore. People won't buy these albums. And it's definitely got to be because Donkey that that happened. It's got to be because of him. So, I mean, uh, I, I, I mean, I don't know if him and Kanye have connected or reached out in any way, but I feel like uh, uh, there's got to be some kind of attribution at some point. No, right? I don't know. I, I feel like he should get he should get a producer credit on this track. I think honestly, he should get a writer credit. He should get a writing credit because he he had the idea. <laughs> he was he was the originator of the idea of the inclusion of that of that sound. So, let's go. Remote control. Please don't ask again. My only fan. Of course, getting an only fans reference. Oh, 
I'm sorry you can't smoke weed. Sorry, sorry. I just wanted to thank the guy for the bits. Sorry. And I, I just read his message. And uh, it's, it said that he can't smoke weed because of the military. I'm sorry you can't smoke weed because of the military, bro. <laughs> I, I'm sorry you can't smoke weed because of the military, man. I just wanted to thank, thank bro for the bits. That's all. That's all I wanted to do. Remote control. <laughs> at least it was really short it was really tiny it was like a really t like during in the live setting it was like going on but like here it's just like a little it's a little tiny it's a little hit of little hit of glub just for the for the for the fans of the meme uh, listen that track i feel like could have used a bit more momentum you know what i mean that's a moment where i was also kind of not feeling the lack of rhythm on that one, it just felt a little too still and stiff and just kind of a wash in its own atmosphere. I liked the thugger appearance, but I feel like the song was like struggling to decide what exactly it wanted to be kind of the focal point or that one element you kind of keep coming back to. Like that whistle line was okay. Uh, the, the hook kind of had, the, the hook definitely had a melody to it, but I don't know if it was a, a smooth one. It was kind of an awkward ascent and descent and like a remote control like a ceo like i was not really feeling the bars either i feel like that song was kind of a mess honestly uh, maybe there are some ideas that when i listen to it more uh, will kind of grow on me but um to me that track just fell all over the place uh <laughs> <laughs> the the glob the glob part is really uh where my ears pe uh perked up and um yeah you know what what everybody's saying about uh Cuddy not being on the track or being taken off the track yeah I mean this vibe sonically I I think makes a lot more sense for Cuddy uh, maybe, maybe not necessarily more sense than Thugger I feel like you know he he did his thing on the track and I don't hate him on the song I think he sounds good on the track. But uh, the vibe of this song w would uh, really fit Cuddy. Oh, Moon. You're talking about Moon. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Um, but yeah, Cuddy wouldn't sound too bad on that one either. All right, Moon is the next one. Let's spin it. Is that Don Tolliver? Yeah, it's, Don it's Donnie. Here we go, strapping we up. There's Cutterino. Ooh, that was gorgeous. That was beautiful. Holy shit. Don Tolliver sounded angelic on that. Kanye and Cuddy were basically like they were vocally scissoring all over the track. It sounded great. What? It was beautiful. It was heavenly. Um, <laughs> this, this record is so strange. It, you know, it hits you with like a weird, awkward moment, and then it like blows you away with like this immaculate beauty. Just, uh... All over the place. It's uh, diff difficult, at least, you know, halfway through to, or about halfway through to know where it's going to go next or to even sum up what I've heard so far. Uh, just because there, there's so many different directions it kind of goes in. And I, and I think levels of execution and, and focus as well. You know, not all of which to is, is to the record's benefit, mind you, because, uh, you know, so far in their track list, there have been some duds. But, um, you know, the spots that hit, like, you know, really freaking hit. Um, Heaven and Hell is the next one. Uh, let's hear it. Yeah, I said vocally scissoring. They were vocally scissoring all over the track. What's so confusing about that? <laughs> they were scissored. They were scissored together for the whole song. They were just on, just all back and forth. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. You know, listen, 
listen, listen, listen to me. Okay, listen, listen. Fuck you. All right, fuck you. Fuck yourself. All right, fuck yourself. And just fuck you. That's all I got to say. All right, let's. 2,000 years later. Vocally, vocally scissoring. Yes. I said vocally scissoring. That's uh, that, that that clip that clip's gonna be at the end of me. <laughs> that clip's gonna be the end of me. Fantano said what? He said Cuddy <laughs> Cuddy were vocally scissoring. <laughs> yeah, I said that. That's what I said. That was the vibe that I that, that I got off of it, okay? That was the vibe that I was on, all right? Had a bit of a scissor vibe. Let's continue with the record. No more promos, no more Beyond Bezos. We get Jesus disciples. Ain't no more problems. You crave, we crave too. You devil, lay down, pray now. Hold up, no peace, just stay focused. No the hold my let it Let it rock, let it rock. Um <laughs> Again, another track that wasn't bad. I, I like that track, but again, with, I guess without finishing the record, it was it's kind of hard to see where exactly it fits or how it makes sense in the grander scheme of things. It, it feels like an insane Kid C ghost leftover. It feels like a crazy KSG leftover. I want to hear it again, not right now, but uh, uh, you know, I want to spin that one more. It was definitely a fiery one. It seems like we've hit like a string of shorter tracks, and then coming up soon, we have the eight minute. Uh, nine minute Jesus Lord uh, right now it's the title track let's give it a listen probably uh, an emotionally immense moment given uh, this song and the title is uh, you know the title of the record is after Kanye's mother uh, let's hear it out forever, forever. I thank you so much for your support what do you want me to talk about my son to a generation as one more it's the kingdom of Scared. Okay. Kind of an emotional moment on the LP, I would say. And, you know, given uh, his mom's words on that track, I think it says uh, or explains a lot you know, about Kanye's personality. Twitch.tv slash Nasal Drop. Here we go. I'm, I'm seeing in chat everyone's like <laughs> debating over whether or not it's Ariana Grande on the track. I mean, if she is on the track, uh, she she probably did a background vocal. I think there was like some misunderstanding as to like when she was on the track or what she was doing on the track. I don't think anybody thought that Kanye's mom talking on the song was Ariana Grande. Like, I think she might have done a background vocal or if she did, did have any input now or at one point, it uh, was probably like a background vocal or something like that. I'm trying to settle the Ariana Grande <laughs> debate over here. Because it seems like a little unnecessary. So anyway, I like that track as an interlude. You know, I feel like a record like this kind of needs a breathing point here and there. It needs a bit of a breaking point. Did the chat break while I wasn't looking at it? Did the chat just break? All right. Um, Keep My Spirit Alive is the name of the next track. 16 songs in. Let's keep spinning. We are getting to the point where we're traveling out of the album. The light is getting closer. We're, we're, we're closing in on the end of the tunnel, sort of. Uh, <laughs> let's give this one a listen and see what's up. Oh my God, would you guys shut the fuck up about Ariana Grande? Jesus fucking Christ, it's not that funny. It is a good track, though. Yeah. All right, we, we need to fucking hear that again. What the fuck? Kanye with the puns. I like that track a lot. Chorus was solid. The beat and the groove had like a 
college dropout late registration vibe to it. The gospel tie-ins were really nice. Those organs were sweet as hell. And Machine Verse was short, but great. West Side was great. Love that, uh, you know, Kanye worked Griselda in. And uh, they played into the, you know, themes and vibes of the record. Uh, you know, Christ and all that. Um, liked it all around. Uh, another uh, instant like on that one. I think that's... Uh, a track that as I, you know, revisit it and everything, I'm just going to like it more. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that was a highlight. That was a really good one. All right, let's uh, uh, keep it up. Let's keep it going. Let's hope this uh, momentum continues. Although I, I guess it's, I mean, the next track could be great, but uh, all I'm saying is like, we're definitely going to be heading in a different direction with this one being uh, <laughs> nine minutes long. <laughs> so uh, let's, let's start on this, uh, on this nine minute journey with uh, Jesus Lord. Ba bam. Jesus. Been through a lot of things. Been in a lot of things. Do I wish I was dreaming? Yeah. But lately I've been losing all my deepest friends. And ain't no love there. Yeah. Too many pills, so much post the life for the party. Like a Harley. Visions of my cousin they been killing his watch it. But I'm just reaching for the stars like Buzz Light, yeah. The, the Buzz Lightyear line, seriously, like on this song, in this context, the Buzz Lightyear line, never mind the fact that Buzz Light. I mean, I guess there's different way, ways you could read it. I'm, uh, I've been watching you since I was 15. I'm 26 now. I'm a different person, but you're still putting that good content out there. Keep going. Melon, I, I am trying to be consistent. Thank you. You know, it's, you, you've been watching me for like nine years. 11 years and I'm, I'm a different person since then. I am a different person. You know, I, I still, I still post uh, horrible things on Twitter. Why is that corny? Fuck you. Fuck yourself, buddy. Fuck you. There's nothing wrong with appreciating things. If somebody said that to Kanye, you wouldn't think it was corny. Like Kanye, I've been listening to you since I'm 15 and now I'm 26 and you still put out good stuff. I love you, Kanye. You wouldn't think that's corny. Shut the fuck up. Uh, but anyway, I, I'm a different person since then, but uh, the 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 goal is the same. The mission's the same. Listen to the fucking track and say what you think, and, and there you go. That's what the that's the whole point of the thing. Um, but God, the Buzz Lightyear line. Why? On, on such a tender moment, the Buzz Lightyear line. Well, I see you in the afterlife. Or you could be a statistic. And the baby daddy says she should have bought it. But scars really heal up. Oh, somebody in the chat was like, I was referring to the song with the Buzz Lightyear thing. Uh, maybe, maybe you were. Sorry about that misfire. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> sorry about the misunderstanding. You know, I'll, I'll be real with you. I apologize. I apologize for blowing up at you. I apologize. I apologize for that. Jesus, forgive me. I don't have that part in my brain that tells me, wait, pause. Don't jump down someone's throat. Don't, don't tear, don't, don't go, don't. Don't say that. Don't F. Don't F. Don't F them out. <laughs> I don't have that part of my brain. And I, po I apologize for that. From all the pain that been tied, bleeding from the side. You took my brother life you down and all you seen was the light. Uh-huh. The beneficent, the merciful. Oh, yeah. It's J Electronica. All right. Let's, uh, all right. I'm going to get ready for this. J Electronica, don't say anything anti-vax or anti-Semitic challenge. Let's go. Go ahead, take to the merciful. Thank you for bringing me to the visit Rothschilds like the lonely. He's he's got to talk about the Rothschilds. He's got to talk about them. You dated a Rothschild. How 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 do you so easily and so simply without it even sort of like you know popping up in your head as like a red flag, just rap so casually about like the Rothschilds as an abstract, but you dated one. You dated a Rothschild. You were you dated one on a regular basis for an extended period of time. Wh whatever. Whatever. It's it's not about being biased. It's just ridiculousness. Because like for how many years has Rothschilds and the Rothschild family and so on and so forth been like, you know, a uh, covert wink, wink, nudge, nudge for like, you know, the Jews are controlling everything and blah, 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 blah. That's exactly what it's fucking been for generations. 
and Jay just like continues to covertly like nudge it into his own lyricism. Again, despite the fact that like he literally used to date a, a member of the Rothschild family. So it's 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 just ridiculous. For what Bush did to rewind the and the to the game if I lay one vote and say you took a L, Jose could still side. It's a wild side. I mean, he did go in flow wise. I'm not going to deny that. It was a good performance. And, you know, I, I heard somebody in chat, there was somebody in chat saying, like, oh, yeah, he's, he's just sort of like, you know, taking it to like oligarchs and so on and so forth. I mean, look, if, if that's all it is, if that's all it boils down to, th th there's a word for that. It's fucking oligarchs. You know what I mean? There's like a specific, you know, cultural component to using terminology like Rothschilds and synagogues of Satan in your verses. <laughs> and that's all I'm saying, man. You know someone. This is Larry Hoover Jr. First, and with your assistance, we, and we haven't even been to jail. My father has not called it. Would it lead us to death? He would be dead to me. Yo, this is Larry Hoover's kid. That's um It's kind of it's kind of based. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. It's um pretty based. <laughs> uh Larry Hoover's kid though is is kind of is kind of uh, is kind of a based inclusion on this record. I am impressed by that. I, I will say that. Free my father. I mean, look, I like that track a lot. I like the production. I thought uh, that little Jesus hook was beautiful. Uh, Kanye really laid it out with a lot of different stories and perspectives on the front end of the track. J Electronica was spitting like mad, though as far as like, you know, a few of the bars there, like as much as I complain, it's literally what I fucking expected. Like, I can't even be disappointed. It's literally what I thought was coming. I, I, I literally... <laughs> I prefaced it. Okay. I prefaced it and it still happened. Um, and Larry Hoover Jr. Outro, uh, long track, but, uh, I feel like it pretty much justified its length. It, you know, held my interest from, from uh, front to, uh, from front to start. Sorry. I had to pause it a million times, but you know, it is what it is. I'm looking forward to, uh, digging back into that one again. Uh, let's keep it moving. If I it's kind of interesting. I feel like, I mean, look, overall, this is a pretty, you know, godly record for sure, you know, or it's like shooting to be, but I feel like in a way the records like, you know, in increased the godly vibes since like the heaven and hell track. I feel like it's, it's become even like the godly message has increased even more, which, um, I don't mind. I, I like that quality about the record. It feels like as we're going forward, we're gaining more focus in a way. Um, it's a double LP. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, th I think that uh, makes sense. Hey, 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 everyone's saying, hey, I'm, I'm confused. Confused. Why is everyone saying, hey, why is it? Why is everybody saying hi? Hi, 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 hey, hi, 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 hi. 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 I was saying something and, and now everybody's saying hi and hey, LMAO. Hi. Hi. Hey. 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 Hi. 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 Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hi. You guys are throwing me off my attention. I, I have, guys, I have attention deficit disorder. Okay. And, uh, you know, praise Jesus that music is one of the only things on this planet that I could pay attention to without being distracted too much. Music I can, because it's a thing of personal interest. But um, yeah, I, I, I do lack critical information in this moment. I understand that. But you guys are distracting me. This, this is, I, that doesn't mean I can't be distracted though when you're distracted. With that being said, I feel like the, the, the godly themes are kind of converging in a strong way um, as the record continues. And... Uh, you know, maybe by the end of this, I I will feel like I would have just rathered an album that kind of just, you know, just sat squarely on that because I did like where Jesus is King was going, but I felt like it didn't really accomplish its goals all that well. Um, you know, this to me feels like T-Lop, kind of an erratic T-Lop vibe, but simultaneously it also feels like, you know, the record that Jesus is King should have been, you know, under like better circumstances. 
um, at least so far, you know, and we're pretty deep into the record at this point. So uh, new again is the next one. Uh, let's give it a spin. Hi, got it. Got it. I get it now. At, at least you guys genuinely know that when I come on here and I say that I have not heard this shit yet, <laughs> I mean it. Because I'm willing to come on here and make a fucking idiot of myself and say, hey, I don't know what you're talking about. What's all this hey, hi shit going on in chat? So, you know, when, when, when I come on here and I say, I'm not going to listen to it until I listen to it with you guys, I'm not lying, okay? I do mean it, all right? So that's, that's all that you got to know. This is the one with Chris Brown on it. Does, any, does anybody else feel like we're listening to like Christian EDM right now? Does, does anybody feel like we're like at the uh, Electric Daisy Festival, but just like God God vibes? Yeah, Chris Brown was in there super subtly on the first leg. He may have even, I don't even know if his vocals like, you know, slipped into this chorus of vocals over here you know it's, it's kind of weird there's something like really kind of raw and rough around the edges about the way he's kind of layered and sort of like treated these vocals they're very hot on the ears but there's also something kind of like haunting about the way they're sort of like repeating and are in such a stark contrast to the background instrumental which at this point is is just you know very quiet You know, to sort of like, you know, put this in the context of the music that it's borrowing from. And also, um, you know, even without, uh, e even within the context of something like the new um, Lingua Ignota record, which, uh, you know, you guys know that um, I reviewed very positively recently. You know, there is something about like spiritual worship, you know, music and its repetition that does like, you know, sort of uh, embody and create these intense, uh, you know, rushes of emotion. You kind of get into the messaging of it and, you know, the desperation of like, save me, save me. And, you know, that kind of thing. All right. Tell the vision is the next one. P people are telling me to skip it. I'm not skipping it. I have to hear the whole fucking thing. What do you want me to do? Review the record and be like, hey, I, I loved all the tracks except tell the vision, which I didn't listen to. I didn't listen to it because they told me not to in chat. You think anybody's going to accept that on YouTube? You know, you, th you, th you think, I mean, look, I may hate it. It may be the worst track on the record, but I, I still have to hear it. So, you know, s television. Uh, okay. I mean, look, I could, uh, appreciate Kanye wanting to have like a little pop smoke interlude on here. How does this transition into the next track? Yeah, to me, that's, that's just a waste on the record. Again, I can appreciate wanting to incorporate pop smoke given his influence impact and, you know, whatever the Kanye record is, uh, th there's usually some attempt to, you know, bring in some of the sounds and flavors and artists of, you know, like whatever the current moment is, you know what I mean? No matter what Kanye album it is, no matter what Kanye album. And, you know, again, I can appreciate his intent there, but it wasn't very flattering, you know, to Pop Smoke's memory, artistry. I think something smaller, shorter, more condensed, clearer or maybe even just incorporated into another song as like an outro or something like that would have made more sense and probably just would have been more complimentary to the flow. I don't know. Lord, I need you. Let's uh, continue on and see what this next one offers. Your arms are, I give up on doing. When you turn out to be more than just a fan of Walgreens, huh? I can't hear myself drink. It's the best collab. Taco Bell and KFC. Uh Excuse me, Mr. West? Excuse, excuse, excuse me? KFC, uh, talk to me. I don't know what I would do without calling custody. Got me for me lately and serenade me. I'm saved it. Speak for love. 
okay. I think some of Kanye's vocals on that one were, you know, a little too rough for words, but I still like the vibe of that song. It still was a pretty track. Maybe a little too brief at two minutes and 42 seconds. Like it could have, I, I feel like there was still more gas left in the tank by the end of it, but uh, still a nice moment. You know, generally like that one. I didn't really have a negative reaction to it outside of a few bars, you know, on the front end. Um, I'm not so sure about the KFC line and just how sentimental some of the relationship bars are, but you know, there you go. Uh, Pure Souls is the next one. Uh, let's give it a spin. Change when you famous. I remember and I cannot sell. Oh, 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 so. Top shining like a live pole. But I'm looking at my Grammy right now. You trailblaze for the trenches. Mm. I hope you get away with her. Be faking her. Huh? Well, here goes cold. Every cousin the stole. All of my friends love the gangbang. And we outside. Said free the old man. My favorite place to send it. It ain't how I used to be. Father, I'm yours exclusive. I'm free. Get away with her. You get away with her. Chance, huh? Roddy sounds so fucking good on this track. Is it me or is this track like mastered like shit? I feel like whose vocal is on this? 21, Roderick, Tim, Bastian. Who's the female vocal on the track? Yeah, it sounds like it's clipping. Sheena, Sheena, Ursa Sheena, Shensa. Hold on a second. The, the chat's going too fucking fast. Um, Shinsia. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I like her vocal. It sounds really good. But every time she sings, it crackles. It sounds like it's crackling. Right there. What the fuck is that? And maybe it's not her voice. Maybe it's something else in the recording. Maybe it's the organ. Why, why does Kanye still put out records with like, you know, there, there's shit on My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy like this. Like, why does Kanye still put out records like with this shit on it? Like you, you have the biggest team in the world. You, you feasibly have all the time in the world to, you know, like get the mastering on everything exactly right. Like this is just, it's not necessary. No, no. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little extra texture. <laughs> it's some texture. No, no, no. no it, it is kind of bad. I mean, look, everyone's, bro, shut the fuck up. Blah, 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 blah. Look, I think there are contexts where this kind of thing works. Like if this were a banger or something like, you know, really aggressive or it was, uh, you know, like really in your face or if it was, uh, you know, like an industrial hip hop rager or some shit like that. But this is like a super tender, glossy, spacey moment where you have this beautiful vocal interplay from two guests on the record. I don't want to fucking hear in the middle of that fucking shit. I don't, I don't, you know, and, uh, you know, you bring up Igor, but uh, Igor all over that record everything's like relatively fuzzy and kind of warm and a little tattered you know the the mid-fi presentation of that record is very purposeful it's very purposeful so far this track is the only track where I'm catching this it's me how is it I'm just playing it through Spotify man I'm just playing it through fucking Spotify I don't know and you know keep in mind these are like the same you know, speakers I hear every other fucking thing that we listen to on the stream on. I mean, I'm sorry if this is your first stream or something, you know, but uh, we do these pretty regularly. Uh, over the past year that we've been doing these, we listen to, we've probably listened to thousands of tracks, you know, collectively. And um, and I, I, I think at this point, I, I know when something's fucking crackling. <laughs> okay. Um, I did like that track quite a bit still though. You know, it's just, uh, just that unnecessary, you know, clipping bullshit. I, I just don't, uh, you know, get even why it's there. It would be such, you know, uh, like with the team of people that he has behind him and his music, it would be a simple thing to avoid, but you know, it's whatever. Um, still a beautiful cut though. Still, still a beautiful cut. Still a beautiful cut. All right. No child left behind. Is one of the more uh, talked about songs on the record. Uh, let's give it a spin. Oh, 
Sorry, did I skip? My soul cries out. Yeah, I did. Sorry about that. My bad. Come to life is the next one. Sorry. I listened through Pure Souls and it said on my, you know, browser over here that I was on. I, I thought I was on the same track still. Sorry. Apologies. Here go all your problems. Three, two, one, you pay. Did she finally get life? Don't you wish the night would go long? I don't want to die. Lift me up every time. Come to life. Pencil the man. Life. To life. In. Yo, gorgeous, gorgeous fucking song. That was beautiful. That was beautiful as fuck, man. Like, I love the way the pianos are building on that one. That was great. Sorry. Sorry I came in hot on that one, but it was great. That was a really good one. That one had me, that one had me hot. All right, uh, No Child Left Behind. All right, so this is like, I mean, everybody already knows this. I'm just sort of saying this, you know, because I'm, I'm realizing this as I'm listening to the record. This is a certified hood classic. So this is pretty much like the closer of the album. And then past this point, we have Jail Part 2, OK, OK Part 2, Junior Part 2, Jesus Lord Part 2, which is like, you know, essentially like alternate versions of the songs that we heard earlier on the record you know, with different appearances and that sort of thing. Do you, do you want me to, do, do you guys want me to play the part twos? Do you guys want to hear the part twos together as well? You want, you want to hear the part twos play them? Yes. 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 Well, look, if, if you don't want to hear the part twos together, as soon as we start the part twos after this track, you, you could, you could skate. You can get the fuck out of here. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see you later. We love you. Hope you have a good night, <laughs> but you know, we're going to listen to this track and then we'll get into the part twos. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get into this track, then I'll give some reflection on the record overall. And then I think we can get into the, uh, the part twos and, uh, and then call it a night. I think we'll just, uh, spin these part twos and then, then head out. Okay. All right. Uh, no child left behind. Let's go. Love the keys on this one. No child left behind. No child left behind. Back again. I use my back. Always count on God. He's done miracles, he's done miracles on, on me, on me. Between this and the Lingua Ignota record, I'm, I'm just going to turn to a Christian this year. I'm just going to turn to a Christian. I, I wasn't anticipating this. It's a, it's a weird past couple of years. I'll, I'll say that. Okay, I think it's a pretty cool, you know, concept for like an outro on the record. Nice. Beautiful. Gorgeous. All right, so now we have the part twos, uh, you know, alternate versions of tracks like, you know, uh, that were earlier on the record, Jail Part 2, OK, OK Part 2, Junior Part 2, Jesus Lord Part 2. Let's give these a listen, see how they compare. I know some of them have uh, alternate uh, features and everything like DaBaby. <laughs> so uh, uh, let's pop into these and, and uh, you know, just like, hear what could have been i guess or you know what is but is just now at the end of the album oh wait but and, and i guess I'll, I'll give some overall thoughts and everything as we uh head into these look i'm not gonna uh spoil too much and i don't know how much i really can spoil this moment because it's it's a pretty dense and difficult record but i i will say this i think it i think it finishes stronger than it starts I think the godly themes of the record become stronger and clearer as the album continues. I still think there are some moments where you hit a track where it's a dud. It feels unnecessary. It feels a little extra. It's not really adding a lot to the already very bloated track list. But for the most part, I feel like this, I'll say it one more time. I feel like this record, you know, kind of achieves a lot of what Jesus as King was going for. But it does it in this very messy, chaotic, T-Lop type fashion. You know what I mean? And I do appreciate that energy about it. And, you know, undoubtedly, this is like uh, quite above Jesus is King, in, in my opinion, in my mind, anyway. Uh, you know, that may be a shorter record and to some a more focused record. 
you know, and, and I think that record is uh, an emotionally intense one in a lot of ways for Kanye. In, in a weird way, I feel like this record, even with everything Kanye has been through over the past year or so, I feel like this LP sees Kanye in a moment where he, at least in terms of like energy level, emotion and attitude, he feels like he's less in a moment of crisis here. You know, Jesus is King to me was almost like, as I said in my review, an extension of his mental health issues that he was kind of exploring on Ye, but was kind of just doing it with, a, you know, kind of a godly veneer. You know, to me, this record feels so much more about uh, religion and the spirit and God and Jesus, as it were. It, you know, while his mother and his family and his past do play a part, I was surprised that narratively that they didn't you know, take up more room on this record. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and that's not to say that, um, you know, those themes and uh, naming this record after his uh, mother wasn't important and wasn't significant. It certainly was, you know, but uh, the, the loss of Kanye's mom and the way that that sort of impacted his life in such a tumultuous way, you know, he, he hasn't really kind of like dived deep into that, you know, um, you know, personal anguish. And Kanye's, you know, given us quite a bit of his own personal anguish and personal struggles on a lot of different topics in his art and in his music. And and that's something that, um, you know, in, in a way he hasn't uh, given to us in, in such an overt way. And, and, you know, maybe that's something that he prefers to keep private. Uh, the, the ways in which his mother and family and past kind of, you know, appear on this record feel more in tribute than you know, and, and feel more like a tribute than they do feel like an explanation or an addition to a narrative or, you know, something that's given to us so that we get a greater understanding of like what brought Kanye to the point where he is today, you know, and, and, and again, Kanye has given a, us, uh, you know, quite a bit, you know, even more than I think some of us would have ever wanted or asked for uh, to the point where, you know, it's, it's gotten obnoxious sometimes uh, some of his struggles and some of his problems on a myriad of different issues, but, you know, what is arguably one of the most tragic things that's ever happened in his life, um, we, ha you know, we don't dive where we haven't dived uh, too deeply into it. And I'm kind of shocked that Kanye um, didn't go as deeply as I, I thought that he would, given some of the, um, you know, listening party material, uh, didn't go as deeply into, you know, the, uh, being separated from his family and, and Kim at this point. I mean, you know, clearly it's there, but uh, I thought that that would be a greater, I guess, sort of like, um, you know, I guess a, a point of anguish on the album. You know what I mean? But uh, the, maybe the, you know, the point of this record overall isn't really anguish to begin with. You know, I, I think the the point of this record for Kanye, despite all of these personal, you know, things and issues going on around him, um, is really just about celebration of spirit, of spirituality, of what he sees as, you know, like his, his faith, you know, his own point of view of that. I mean, if you follow Kanye closely and you see what he says about God and what God means to him, you know, it's, it's, it's very clear that, um, it, it, you know, his, his interpretation of Christianity and spirituality, and this is the case for a lot of people, I'm sure. Um, you know, is, is very individualized. It's very personal. It's very based on his own singular interpretation. And, um, you know, to me, I think this, this record is an ex is, is, is an exorcism of that, but, you know, just like through the music that I feel like he wants to platform that message with. And, uh, also some tracks that I think, you know, he gave us because he thinks it's what his audience wants to hear at this point, because there are some tracks on here where it's very bare, it's very gospel, it's very atmospheric. Um, it's very spacious. And there are some other cuts where instrumentally and also with some of the features he's grabbing, he's, he's definitely going into a pretty trendy direction. You know what I mean? So, um, it's an interesting record. It's an interesting record. It's a bit of a mess, but, uh, I, I think it's more robust and there's a lot more to it substantively than, you know, what Kanye, um, gave us on Jesus is King. And as much as I like, yay. You know, I, I do like that record for what it says about uh, and what it did say about Kanye's mental health. And I, you know, like a majority of the tracks on that record. Uh, with that being said, like this is a, a more robust offering than Ye, even if it's not as consistent. You know what I mean? So. Um, so, yeah, you know, I, I guess those are kind of my overall thoughts as of right now, as far as like a first impression 
You know, those are my first impression thoughts. Um, and I guess we'll, uh, you know, we'll see what the review for this pans out to be when it comes out uh, later in the week after I have much more time to digest this long fucking ass album. Right, let's uh, spin these part twos. Is that the Manson vocal? Oh my god. Is that the We are liars? We going down. Yeah, I'm glad he got left off that shit. Oh my god. Yeah, if Manson were going to jail, what would he be going to jail for? What, what would Manson be going to, to jail for? Liars. We going down. I said one thing they like to You know that feed my daughters, huh? Mm-hmm. Buy my grass and that's a good habit. I'm ready for <laughs> Is this the first song that people have thumbed down a majority? Wow, we, we really hated the Manson that much. And ugh, like, I'm, I'm not liking the tone of this DaBaby feature so far. It's, it seems like he really wants to die on this hill where he's like, hey, you guys wanted to take my career away from me, huh? Hey, you, uh, uh, well, now I'm on the Kanye record. Well, it's like, look, bro, like, me and I think most people who took issue with what you said have no expectation that your career is going anywhere. You're going to continue to be a relevant rapper for a while. You know, and it's it's people just took issue with what you said. You know, uh, cancel culture isn't real. Like you're still very relevant and your career is still very much here. So you'll you'll be fine. Get at him and team in the bank on him. Yeah, these people don't try to tell me how to talk. My uncle's watching. He was raised by the crack. Whoa, a different flow from the baby. Uh, you know, honestly, I, I feel like if, if we keep going, we're going to cancel the baby into like three or four new flows. Like at, if, if we cancel the baby a few more times, the guy's going to have five flows. Like, holy shit. Let's let's go. Let's go. Every time we canceled the baby, do we get a new flow? <laughs> Patience, you was busy hustling the things. Let's see what it is. Guilty because they're gonna have to take me. The baby feature was good. The baby feature was good. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Yeah, maybe we've heard the rest of that. But the uh, baby feature was good. I'm not gonna lie. It was a good feature. You know, a little indignant uh, on the first leg, you know, about his uh, whole cancellation thing, but uh, he, he brought it. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. All right, here's OK, OK, part two, the second OK, OK. It's kind of misleading that he names these part two. You know, I think it would be better if it was like jail, alternate, OK, OK, second version, junior remix, something. You know what I mean? I skipped the drums. I don't give a fuck about those drums. They're not good drums. All right, here's OK, OK. Yeah, they, they are remixes, but they're not labeled as that. That's what I'm saying. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm saying I wish they weren't labeled part two because the song isn't a part two of jail it's literally the same song but just a different version you know what i'm saying i'm just saying it's misleading labeling that's all i'm saying typical bassist i know it's my fault are you saying oh what is is that in response to my drums comment probably are you rap sound like machine say them on my play along em with precision oh i'm the boss in charge bring you your right you know my lock the shop can't trust people i've been no care how much love oh no why did why didn't we get this why isn't this part one hey thank you for the subs appreciate it why isn't this the track like honestly you know not to hate because we've had we've had issues in the past we've had issues in the past but if it, going over all the features in my mind, Yachty's had to be one of the most forgettable. It wasn't terrible. It's not the worst feature on the record. There are other, you know, features on the record, I think, you know, would qualify for worst. But the Yachty feature wasn't really stand out on the original. OK, OK, this is uh, miles ahead. Like, I, I feel like this is what we should have got, frankly. I mean, we still have it. It's, you know, part two. But like. I feel like this is so much stronger than the first. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I kind of like that version better. I kind of like that version better. Let me ask you guys, um, just for, just from your own perspective, in your own opinion, in, in your opinion, in chat, least favorite feature on the record, least favorite feature on the record. What's your least favorite feature? 
which feature, you know, sort of stuck out to you is like, and the pop smoke feature doesn't count. Pop smoke feature does not count. It was not a feature that was just like a, that was just like a, a weird posthumous, you know, sample inclusion. And the Manson is on a part two. The Manson one is awful, but it's part two core record, core record, not the part twos, not the pop smoke core record. Who had the worst or the feature that you didn't like the most? You see, the Chris Brown feature I didn't dislike. It didn't really stand out enough to me to hate it. You know, he kind of played a very supplementary role on that track. He didn't really stand out in a way. He just kind of, you know, played like a a background role on that track, which was fine. I didn't really hate the Chris Brown feature. And and the Yachty feature, I, I, you know, it didn't impress me as much as what I had just heard there, but it's not a bad one. It's not terrible. You know, it didn't like derail the track or anything like that. And I liked the Dirk feature. I didn't see what was bad about the Dirk feature. You know, I, I feel like for me, it's got to be either like Keem or the second Cardi feature. The first Cardi feature was good. I loved the first Cardi feature. I feel like the second Cardi feature and just the whole track was kind of unnecessary. Either that or the Keem one, which I think the Keem feature had its moments, but like, Lord, did it take a fucking long time to get where it needed to be. And then once it was there, it kind of trailed off into that very pitchy, yelpy 645 AR passage, which I feel like I need to hear again at some point, you know, once once I listen to the record again. But uh, I wasn't crazy about it on first listen. All right. Junior part two. Let's go. Junior Watson, up, Junior Watson, hey, hey. undercover. They don't do karate. I'm going to fucking the Kelly. Hey. He came with an umbrella. I was created in the image of God. Fully on my. Woo, 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 woo. I I love Ty on that track. I generally like Ty and Kanye together because I think they have very complementary energies and aesthetics. Um, but I still feel like he wasn't enough to save that track. I loved his feature. But I mean, I wasn't really crazy about this song when I first heard it and, you know, just kind of hearing the slightly different version, not really crazy about it uh, another time around, unfortunately. I mean, you know, he does add length to the track, but I feel like there's too many issues with the track at its core for Ty to just sort of like appear on the back end and just, you know, it'd be a better version. All right. Jesus Lord part two. So we have uh, the lengthiest track on the record all over again, but now we've got fucking the locks on the track. So we have Sheik Luch, Styles P, and Jada on the song, uh, which is uh, incredible. Uh, let's uh, let's fucking go. Like how how is all of this going to fit with? Is Jay Electronica still on the track? And. Like, does Kanye still go at length about all the stories that he does on the song? Is pretty much everything the same about the song except for them on it? I mean, it may be because it's like a few minutes longer than the original. Yes, just, okay, I got it. Yeah, so it's it's after J. Okay, so it's the same up to J, and then it goes to the locks. Visit Rothschild, like the long time. I, I skipped right to my favorite bar. Always look him in the face when I... I was born to rock a crown. You ain't loyal, you from a different soil. Devil like Jesus Christ. I just know how much the bad ways. Jack to the offer, Rick. Doing dumb. Some fam died, some friends died. By the way, is it get one that me? Yeah, I, I could see why this is a part two. I mean, it just kind of like. I, I would have I liked for these guys to like have their own spot on the record. You know what I mean? Because I feel like throwing them at the tail end of a song that's this long already. You're sort of kind of dragging it out unnecessarily. I feel like they should have, you know, gotten their own dedicated track like the Griselda boys, you know, if Kanye was going to have them kind of cross over with him. I mean, it wasn't bad, but, you know, it wasn't wasn't flames either. Um, I think we have one more special extra track on the record that we got to play. Glob glow gab gala. I love books and this basement. I am the glob glow gab galab. The schwabble double wobble gabble flibber blah blah blah. I'm full of swibble glibber kind. I am the yeast of thoughts and minds. Schwabble double glibber glabber swibble schwab glab. Dibble double swibble shabble glibber glab schwab. Schwabble double glibber glabber swibble schwab dab. Dibble double swibble shabble glibber schwab glab.